Not all the street's second-hand shops started life that way. Paul Gibbs Records was Cardiff's number one record shop in the 60s. It is now an Aladdin's cave of bygonery. Some things being reminders of days when music was Paul Gibbs's life. Bill Haley, Rock on the Clock, drew my attention to the possibilities, and it was from there I started. There was another record shop in, in Cardiff, Spillers, and he was there before the First World War. But he seemed to be getting on, and he didn't have the same interest as I had in, in the current stuff that was going, like Bill Haley and, uh, and uh, Frankie Lane and Slim Whitman. And from where did people come to Oh, your they shop? came from up the valleys, and I had a couple of uh, customers from Newport. I didn't only have the record shop, I was working on the dock. I was your a docker. Your full-time job and the That other was part. my full-time job, and eventually, when I got this business going, I just gave up the dock and retired from the dock. Oh, it was great. It was good. Especially when Elvis Presley came on the scene, and that did boost the sales. And at what point did it start to tail off? Ah, uh, well, it tailed off for me in the late 70s. And why do you think that was? I just came to a pensionable age and I called it a day. So I have to ask you this question. Come How, on. Do you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, actually. Yeah. What well, sort I come of things do you buy? A um, bit of everything. At the moment, I'm looking for... Um, Cast iron stuff like shoe lasts. I do them up and sell them in a craft shop. So anything like that, really. What about records and things? No, not really. No, I've just sold a few records. So is this what you're buying today? I'm um, looking at it, yeah, with a view to doing it up. You know, so I've got these um, Victorian scrapbooks which I cut out and sort of like deck the parge type of thing. 